Hey everyone, I'm sorry it's a little bit dark. Um, I've managed to sort of blow a light bulb, but um, it's fine. Um, basically today I just wanted to talk about our road to recovery and what we're going to come across. Because I'm going to put my hands up and say recovery isn't easy. Um, recovery is a very, very hard and difficult process. It's a long road and it is full of rocks and mountains and things that will trip us up when we least expect it and we will fall down and that's what I want to talk about the times we fall down and um, whether we pick ourselves back up again how, how do we do that? because I want to admit that the past few days hasn't, hasn't been great for me um, I was just walking along in the supermarket one day and I got impounded by heat and disorder thoughts and then suddenly I was I found myself just eating food as I walked along and then went in the change room and fill up and then since then I just purged every day. And then I sat there and I thought I can spiral. I can let myself go down this road, the lonely road of anorexia and bulimia and where there's no end, for the end there is death. Or I can take the road to recovery where there's life. There's happiness, there's friends, there's family, there's people walking beside me. And so I just thought I have to put it behind me. And that's what we have to do. We have to learn. Because that's what recovery is about. We're going to fall, we're going to stumble, and we have to learn from our mistakes. We have to learn from them so that we can't do them again and that we can actually get to the end of the road. And you can't be afraid to ask for help. There's people to, sorry to abuse this metaphor, but to take your hand and pick you up to help you walk along the road and I'm one of them. I'm walking along there beside you and I'm always here and if there's anyone like your friends and family you can't be afraid to ask for help because I found myself lying to people, I found myself getting irritable, getting angry with people and, and it turns you into a horrible person. I, I forgot about how horrible it made me until I started doing these behaviours again. And so today I haven't purged. I, I haven't had or I have my thoughts restricted, but I haven't restricted. And um, I want recovery. I want to get myself back up there and carry on walking. And I think that's so important to realise that a slip up doesn't mean failure. It doesn't mean that you can't recover. It doesn't mean that you're not going to get there. Because that's what so many of us think, we, we stumble and we think, oh, it's not going to happen to me. Well, it will. There are people at the end of that road, at the top of the mountain, now I've done it. And you can do it, I believe in you, you just have to be brave. You just have to stand up to your ego store and say, no, I'm, I'm not going back there. I'm going forwards. I'm not going backwards. And I know you have that brave room in you. You have it in all of us, everyone does. It's just... Sometimes we're so afraid of our own bravery that we don't want to use it. Um, because we don't want to lose what is comfortable to us. Um, and that's what a lot of journeys are. They're, they're not being about comfort being comfortable. It's challenging. And it's meant to be challenging. We're all meant to be challenged in one way or another in life. And this is just one of them. And you just have to be brave and think about all the things that are in the back, at the end of that road. And you can have kids, you can have a family, you can love someone, you can be happy in your own skin. You can go out, have a cocktail, have a pizza, you can order in and not freak out. You can sit next on a bus and just having a takeaway and not freak out. You can be around people, you can socialise, and most of all, most importantly, you can be yourself. Because our eating disorder consumes who we are. It steals our personality, it steals everything about us and puts on this massive mask that we we look in the mirror and we think we see ourselves but we don't we see anorexia or bulimia. So um I just wanna say that you need to go and get to the end of the road and be yourself again because along the road you will you'll start realising things, you'll start getting braver and more strength. But you will fall every every part of the problem and it's so important. To, I just want to say, please pick yourself back up. I, I believe in you. Everyone can do it. Okay. Um, and like me, binge free day. Always good. Um, yeah. So that's about it.
I hope I said it concisely. Um, yeah. All right, um, I hope you're well and have a lovely weekend. I'm thinking of you all. All right. Bye.